High-speed rail is a type of rail transport that runs significantly faster than traditional rail traffic. Using an integrated system of specialized rolling stock and dedicated tracks. It is the fastest ground-based commercial transportation. Though there no single standard speed that applies worldwide to consider in defining a high-speed rail, but lines in excess of 200 km per hour or 120 miles per hour, are generally considered as one. Many countries in Europe and Asia have developed high-speed rail for passenger travel, although some systems also offer freight service. Japan, was the first country to develop the high-speed rail system, the Takedo Shinkansen. Operation began in 1964, spanning 515.4 kilometers, connecting the three largest cities of Japan, from Tokyo via Nagoya to Osaka. The network has expanded to currently consist of 2,764.6 km. As of 2020, Japan has 3,041 km high-speed rail system lines in operation, 402 km lines under construction, and 194 km approved lines for construction. While China built over 37,900 km of high-speed rail as of December 2020, accounting for more than two-thirds of the world's total. China also has the fastest conventional high-speed rail in regular operation, with Beijing-Shanghai high-speed railway reaching up to 350 km per hour. The Shanghai Maglev train, opened in 2004, is the fastest commercial passenger maglev in operation, at 430 km per hour. In 2007, the Euroduplex TGV trains broke a record of 574.8 km per hour, making it the fastest conventional wheeled train. The Chuo Shinkansen in Japan is a maglev line under construction from Tokyo to Osaka, at commercial speeds of 500 km per hour, with operations due to start in 2027. Though, world record shows that SC Maglev Trains is the fastest train with its highest speed, up to 603 km per hour during the test run on April 2015. Here in Southeast Asia, high-speed rail was introduced in late 2010s. However, actual progress started just recently. Today, we will feature the under-development high-speed rail system in Southeast Asia. The most ambitious, high-speed railway project in Thailand is the Northeastern High-Speed Rail. The project is also referred to as the China-Thailand Railway Project, in reference to being built in partnership with Chinese companies. Phase 1 of the project, spanning 252-kilometer leg from Bangkok to Nakhon Ratchasima, is scheduled to open by 2025. It will consist of five stations. Phase 2 of the project, spanning 354-kilometer leg from Nakhon Ratchasima to Nong Kai. The development of a high-speed railway from Bangkok to Nong Kai, which will then connect to the Laos-China rail line. As part of China's network of high-speed rail links across Southeast Asia that will eventually connect Kunming in southwestern China with Singapore. The high-speed rail system, bangkok nakhon ratchasima nong kai line, is a major transport that the Thai government is pushing through. With the aim of helping to boost development in northeastern Thailand, the project will create job opportunities in the area and increase economic activities to improve the quality of life. The new train system will also enhance Thailand's stature as the transport and trading hub of the ASEAN economic community, and build national economic stability and sustainability. The project will also improve and enhance Thailand's transport network by raising Thailand level, at par with the other developed nations. The high-speed rail link from Bangkok to Nakhon Ratchasima, will run through economically important provinces in the central and northeastern region. The rail system has four types of substructure design, these are ground-level track, elevated track, tunnels.
and land bridges. The new rail system is keen to link the high-speed rail system, with the double-track system to transport passengers to and from all important parallel economic cities of the northeastern region. The northeastern region starting from Bang Su Station in Bangkok. The line will share the track with the northern line to Chiang Mai, passing Don Muang and Ayutthaya, until it reaches Bon Pachi Junctions, from where it heads to Surat Guru Station which is located at the Klump Rio Reservoir. The track is elevated across downtown Surat Buri, and then runs to King Khoi and Map Kabao Station, before entering tunnel cut through a limestone mountain and onto Waklik. From Waklik the track will be elevated across a hill until Pak Chong Station which is located on Rachapasado land in Nong Sarai's sub-district. From Nong Sarai, the track will run along the bank of the Lampakong Reservoir using elevated track alternating with tunnels, where the line passes through mountains. Following this, the line will then run on ground-level track using elevated section, where it passes through urban areas such as CQ and Song Noon districts. When it approaches Pokalau, the track will be elevated along a length of 5 km before it reaches the current Nakan Rachasima station. The railway will have a total length of 252 km. In the future, the line will be extended to Nong Kai province using mainly ground level. Tracks will be elevated only when the line passes through downtown communities. Kone Kan, Odontani, and Nong Kai stations will be on these lines. Construction of Thailand's northeastern high speed railway system started in December 2017. While the entire line is expected to be up and running by 2030. The 1,435mm dual standard gauge tracks, would be laid throughout the project. With an operating speed of 250 km per hour. The project will be financed by Thailand, but China will provide the project design including the train and carriages. The Thai government has estimated the project will double the country's passenger rail capacity, with more than 22 million commercial passengers expected annually. Another approved high-speed rail project in Thailand, is the three airport rail link. The Don Muang, Sawanapun, to Otapau High-Speed Railway. The three airport rail link is an underdevelopment high-speed rail project. It aims to connect the two airports in Bangkok going to Otapau Airport in the Eastern Economic Corridor of Thailand. The line length is 220 km and it will run on a 1,435mm standard gauge track. The train will travel up to 160 km per hour in the urban area between Don Muang and Sawanapum, and up to 250 km per hour in rural area between Sawanapum and Otapau. The high-speed railway will include nine stations from Don Muang via Bang Su Grand Station, Makassan, Sawanapum, and Pattaya to Otapau. The rail link will be connected to what will eventually be the two biggest railway stations in Bangkok, Bang Su Grand Station and Makassan. The train will also have a stop at Pattaya, connecting Bangkok to the popular beachside city in under one hour. This is the second high-speed rail line project in Thailand after the Northeastern High-Speed Rail. Approved on 2018 and being due to open in 2026. However, update from State Railway of Thailand revealed, that the progress of the delivery of the construction site for the high-speed rail linking three airports is likely to delay the delivery of the first phase of the area by two months. From the original delivery date of October 24, 2021, has been postponed to December 24, 2021. Upon completion, the rail system will handle 15 million passengers in the next 5 years, 30 million passengers in the next 15 years and 60 million passengers in the next 20 years. The airport high rail project is part of a wider scheme to help boost infrastructure in Thailand. This is one of the 8 mega projects of the proposed high-speed railway routes of Thailand with an estimated total cost of 30 billion US dollar. Update to the first high-speed rail project in ASEAN. The last batch of 6,600 tons of rails, for Jakarta Bandung High-Speed Railway project arrives at the Silicap port in central Java, on September 21, 2021. 
while the tunnel number 8 of the high-speed railway network is already completed last August. Railroad Network Spanning from the capital city of Jakarta, that will connect to the city of Bandung in West Java. The standard gauge track has a maximum speed of 350 km per hour. Connecting the country's two largest cities, from more than three hours in just 40 minutes. The entire high-speed rail network, will feature four halting stations, from Halim in Jakarta. Via Karawang. And Walini. The last station will be Tigalur in Bandung, where the depot is also built. The 73.2 km of the track will be at ground level. 53.5 km will be elevated and 15.6 km will be underground, which includes 13 tunnels. The project hounded without controversies. Aside that the high-speed rail project is part of China's Belt and Road Initiative Infrastructure Scheme, it is also facing a cost overrun of nearly $2 billion. And a number of other challenges, including its right-of-way acquisition and ineffective communications between the Indonesian and Chinese contractors. In addition, the sustainability of the project is also put into question, considering for its cheap cost quoted by Japan International Cooperation Agency. As its contract price is economically unfeasible for a high-speed rail project. China's technology were also considered inferior, per public views as compared to a Japanese technology. Currently the project stands below 80% for the overall completion, while the construction of the stations also achieved below 50% completion rate. It is expected to accept its first passengers by 2022 after a multiple of delays been encountered. These, are the high-speed railway system development in Southeast Asia.